today we have so many potential options, so many ingredients to put together to create different recipes for success. But at the same time, with so many ingredients, it's confusing. And we'll talk a little bit about formal and informal learning because there are a multitude of ingredients on both sides and getting quality ingredients and the right mix for where you are right now is really, really important. So on the formal side, we know that the most respected forms of formal education are accredited university and college programs. So this could be your initial degree, diploma, subsequent graduate degrees, etc., but also a cycling through of continuing education or executive education programs. And think of these programs, because they're aligned with particular career outcomes, they're kind of like buying that uh, box that you get in the mail that allows you to have the recipe and all the ingredients to make the predetermined dinner, right? We give you everything you need to get that skill set, to get that career outcome. Employers respect those credentials. There are other players getting into the market, tech companies, MOOC providers, the boot camp providers. They are not well known, they're not consistent in quality, they don't have many of the same interactive features that will help your career. And most importantly, they're not respected today by employers. So choosing quality ingredients on the formal side and creating a regular cadence is really important. The informal side though, we have a world open up to us of potential ingredients here. So when I was younger in my career, I'm, I'm thinking about the kinds of things that I did for informal learning. There weren't many options. We had books on tape and we had workshops that you'd pay $99 and you'd sit in a hotel ballroom with hundreds of other people and you'd fill in the blanks on a, a notebook that they gave you. Really not great learning experiences. And yet today the world has opened up in that regard. So in addition to the obvious one, right? The reading, leaders are readers. That is the top informal learning method of most leaders in our society. It has probably been my top method historically as well. I read between 30 and 50 books a year. Uh, but in addition to reading, we not only have books, we have audiobooks, we have AI. I have a, an AI app that reads me my books, sometimes quite hilariously in its interpretation of the English language. Uh, but we have podcasts. We have literally in our pocket the ability to learn from thought leaders, from researchers, from CEOs, from startups, all within our pocket. That kind of mentorship has never been open to us before in human history, and it's all there. So whereas formal learning, we get this pre-packaged, you know, full box of skills, informal learning is a lot more um, messy. It's a pick and choose. It's a, it's a just in time. It's a deep dive into a particular topic. It's more like walking through the grocery store and browsing, right? And if you take a sudden interest in potatoes, wow, there's 15 different types of potatoes here and we can make 25 different recipes and let's like really get into it. And so it's the combination of the two of those things that interact in different ways across different uh, points in our career. I was talking this morning to an individual who's just taken a senior leadership role that includes supervising a sales function. And he's never done that before. First thing he did was he held up on the Zoom the books that he was reading from some of the great thought leaders in this field to get an immediate crash course in the language, in the background, the things he needed to know. The next step in his journey will probably be reaching out and taking some type of sales leadership program, an executive leadership program. So there's a place and a time for both of those things to work together. And I think the key to success is recognizing that we're going to need multiple formal opportunities in our careers. So I'm working on my fifth right now. I think in today's fast paced environment, most people are probably going to have half a dozen post-secondary uh, credentials and experiences over their career, at least. Uh, but it's finding that right combination at different stages in your life, as you prepare for a new job, as you get into a new job. The most important thing is that we keep this recipe for success across our career. 
So the balance between our formal and informal learning is going to change depending on our stage of career and what our objectives are. Are things changing rapidly in our fields? Do we want to move into a new job? Have we just started a new job and we need to really ramp up one or another? That balance is going to change, but the most important thing is that we keep that recipe so that we have an exciting, rewarding, and successful career experience.